Let's see how Japanese fishermen make millions from sea eels. Each year, Japan consumes about 50,000 tons of sea eels, accounting for 70% of global eel production. Wow! With this number, you will see that no country consumes such a large amount of eels except Japan. This industry is also worth billions of dollars, thanks to which eel farms are increasingly expanding. Today, join us to find out what value sea eels have brought to Japan. See how Japanese fishermen make millions from eels. What impresses us the most is the method and process of preparing sea eel. At first glance, this is an easy job, but in fact, it requires the skill and experience of professional chefs. Although the consumption of sea eel in Japan is huge, the number of chefs who prepare it manually is increasingly small. Each year, each chef can process about 160 tons of eel. A skilled eel chef can separate the eel quickly to avoid damaging the eel and achieve a beautiful finished product. Have you wondered why eels usually don't move when cooking? Many people think that the eel is dead, but in fact, people preserve them in ice water, causing the eel to temporarily faint. This helps the quality of eel meat to always maintain its fresh flavor. After fixing the eel, the chef uses a knife to cut the eel along its back, then remove the internal organs and spine and cut it into pieces that are easier to prepare. Eels are processed very meticulously, not only in the slaughtering process, but also in the cooking stage before being presented to diners. From the process of skewering and grilling eels to making sauces, everyone needs to go through a long training process. Skewering eels is also known as a highly difficult job. Professionals use bamboo skewers very skillfully. It can be said that this technique is possible thanks to Japanese knife culture. When performing the eel grilling process, a special sauce is indispensable, especially kabayaki sauce, which is also a sweet and spicy sauce loved by Japanese people. The sweet and spicy sauce, a mixture of soy sauce, mirin, or sugar, goes well with the strong flavor of the eel to create a special dish that will conquer any diner who has ever tasted it. Kabayaki eel is also considered a representative of Japanese culinary culture. The Japanese have been eating eel for about 4,000 years ago, and since then, it has become popular as a nutritious food that helps increase resistance.
So how can we provide enough supply for processing restaurants and eel farms? Each year, eel farming output in Japan remains at about 20,000 tons per year. Farms can build cages in concrete tanks built right in the garden areas. The eel pond is a square concrete pond covered by a plastic greenhouse and the water temperature is heated to about 28 degrees Celsius. Producers raise harvested glass eels from winter to spring for a period of six months to one and a half years. An eel will grow from 0.2 grams to 200 grams to even 300 grams. Compound food is made mainly from carefully selected premium fish meal mixed with water and fed in the form of rice cakes. It is necessary to ensure regular health care for eels because if unfortunately, an infected animal can cause the farm owner to lose everything. Therefore, farmers need to observe and monitor their eel herds every day to take the most timely treatment if sick eels are detected. Nowadays, eel farms in Japan are increasingly developing, but that is still not enough for consumers. So there are times when this eel species is expensive, up to hundreds of dollars each kilogram. Importing eel is necessary and the main market is China. China's eel farms are equally developed. Each year, the country exports about 30,000 to 60,000 tons of eels to Japan. This helps ensure the source of consumer products for the Japanese people. When there is enough supply, prices will decrease and ordinary workers in Japan will still have the opportunity to enjoy this typical dish. Today's video ends here. How do you feel today? Please comment a lot below to let us know. Don't forget, click like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. And now, goodbye and see you in the next videos.